What's up guys, we're back and we're back for good, okay? So for those of you that are not, or for those of you, see, it's been that long, we can't even speak properly. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Louis Hickson. I'm an online coach, personal trainer and YouTuber. So I haven't been on here for a long time um, because to be honest, I've been going through some shit because it was COVID and then just got out of COVID and then moved into this flat. If you look in the last video, real life things happened, got a new job, etc. But there's no excuse. So if you are new to this channel, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, because it's the best channel in the whole wide world. Okay? So in today's video, we're going to speak about online coaching. Okay? The day in the life of an online coach. So if you are an online coach or you are... Um, as someone who's looking for an online coach, then it's for both types of people, okay? So like I said, um, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, let's get in to the video. Right, so first we'll do a little tour, because the last time you've seen this place, it was all concrete floor, you know, messy, but da-da! We've got the laminate flooring down, so a little tour of the flat. That's obviously my room. Ha <laughs> ha, jokes. That's my son's bedroom. So, oh, guess who did this? Me. Okay, didn't the whole, the whole flat because it took too much time, but hey, YouTube, fitness, personal training, online coaching, and laminate flooring to give me a shout. Uh, anyway, moving on. This is the master bedroom. Say hey. <laughs> uh, bathroom. Okay. Then come through. Come through. TV is usually there. Got a cool stand. Except that sliding door slams the shit out of your fingers if you're carrying it somewhere. So, but nice, nice living room, nice modern table. This is my office. And we've got the kitchen, got the washing machine installed, oven. Da -da -da. Obviously, got a protein there, cupboards, breakfast table. And some laundry. So, all good. So one of the biggest tips I can give you if you are an online coach watching this or one, or you're someone who wants to transition into online coaching from personal training is you gotta have a schedule. You gotta plan out your week, okay? You gotta know days and times that you wanna have off if you want to have time off in the evening with your family or nights out that you want to have, okay? And you, then you need to structure and schedule days that you want to be setting new clients up, as in their training and nutrition program, um, welcome packs. Then you've got to schedule what days you're going to be doing most work on your business, as in social media, uh, YouTube videos like my social media day, YouTube video day, when I get most of that content that takes up a lot of time is Wednesday because my son is in nursery today, okay? Um, so you've got to schedule days that you have the most amount of time to do the most amount of work, days when you're going to be doing client programs, nutrition training, days when you're going to be setting up new clients, what days are you going to be doing check-ins with clients, okay? So, for example, if you've got a few online clients, it's okay to try and wing it to begin with, but once you get more and more, you've got to have systems in place to be able to schedule them in. So, normally my check-in days are Mondays and Tuesdays because I'll normally get a client normally most of my clients will check in with me the same 
day, which is normally a Sunday evening. They'll send me photos, they'll send me how the week's gone, etc. all the things I need from a check-in. And then Monday and Tuesday, depending on how many clients I've got, I will split the Monday and Tuesday mornings into me giving them their check-in feedback from me for the week ahead. So if everything's been crap that week, they're feeling really tired and low on energy, no sex drive, etc. I'll be like, right, okay, Dave, today we're gonna change your nutrition, we're gonna change your training to get your body healthier again. Or if everything's going great, I might say, okay, let's tweak this a little bit, but let's keep going as we are. So you, so I plan my check-ins for Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday is my big social media YouTube day. Thursday, Friday, if anything needs doing to their program a little bit more, or or say, for example, if a client's done four to six weeks on one training split, and I need to change that, I'll do that on the Thursday, Friday. So you've got to schedule your week, and then, because I've got a family, I've got a partner and a son, weekends, I don't really want to be doing anything, okay? So that's the first thing that I would say, plan and schedule your week like that for the things that you want to be doing. So I'll normally get up at about anywhere between half six and half seven. Normally a lie-in for me is about eight, it's about 8 a.m. So normally that time of day is when I'm most productive. I can focus more early in the morning because once it gets to the afternoon, I kind of switch off a little bit. So quickly check my emails, check my WhatsApp messages as well. See if there's any messages from clients from the day before that I haven't had a chance to answer. And if there's anything that needs um, answering or sorting out then I will do that. First thing normally takes me not too long to be honest because I'm that good at coaching. I don't really get that many questions to answer. So um, normally takes me about 15 minutes to half an hour each morning. Right, now this is a software where I keep all my clients training and nutrition programs. This is our kind of communication hub on a weekly basis. Now, for the sake of this video, I wanna pretend that today isn't Wednesday and it's a Monday or Tuesday where most of the online coaching stuff gets done and I will talk you through that. So, now when I say a software, I use Excel spreadsheets. I've got a drive where I also upload videos um, pre-recorded, because it saves me time. So, I'm the type of coach where I like everything to be done by me, which means um, I, I do the whole layouts of what the training looks like. I do the layout of the nutrition. I type everything in. I film the videos. I'm the one who gets up at like silly o'clock in the morning when the gym's empty to film me doing the exercises. However, there is some other second party or whatever the word is, third party, I don't know. Um, there is some other external training softwares that you can use like Trainerize and some others where they've got other people doing the exercises. But me personally, I found it a bit strange that I'm the coach and I'll have like a five foot female lifting pink dumbbells. Um, and all I have to do is slide and drag it across into someone's folder when that doesn't really, that's not me really. So um, all this on the Excel spreadsheets and drive is all done by me. However, you know, there are some benefits to the other uh, uh, external softwares like you can download you know, um, or, or you can just click and drag meals that are already pre-made, um, different types of recipes, calories, exercises. So it's a quicker way of doing it, but it's not really you doing all the coaching, okay? So you can do it like that, but it's up to you as the coach uh, how you want to do it. I like to do it like this. So 
Um, all my clients are in here, old and current. So normally I like to train at the same time each day, if I can, okay? So I also do personal training. Normally very early in the morning on the odd occasion, but normally in the evenings, so like five o'clock onwards. So I might train before the time I've got my first client, but normally I'll train, I would like to train about half nine, 10 in the morning. That's the ideal to train the same time each day. Or if I've got a lot to do, which you'll see in a minute, I'll do that most of the day. And then if I've got a client at five, I'll try and train about four or six after. So before or after the client, if it's not too early or not too late, as close to the session as possible. So after I've done the emails, check WhatsApp very early in the morning, I might then go and train, okay? Uh, and then come back and I will get on with what I'm about to show you now. So after I've either trained or if I haven't trained, after I've done the emails and checked WhatsApp, got back to people, then the work begins. So I will do the check-ins, okay? Normally Mondays and Tuesday. So I'll look at how my client's week has gone. Uh, I'll look at the mood, I'll look at the hunger, I'll look at the cravings, sex drive, things like that. See how the training and nutrition's gone for that week. Um, and then once I've reviewed all that, I'll see, you know, obviously if the goal is fat loss, I'll see on average if the weight is coming down on a weekly basis. Um, if they're looking to build muscle, I'll see what their measurements are like, chest, biceps, things like that, thighs. So depending on what the goal is, I'll review how that's going, how the training's going, how the food's going, um, all other things uh, like sleep as well, it's very important, yeah. Energy levels are crucial. So I'll look at all them things and then I'll give them a check-in back from me going over what the plan is for the week ahead okay based on what they've told me during their end of week check-in which is very important okay then once i've done the check-ins for that particular day it might take me you know sometimes it'll take me 20 minutes to half an hour to do a check-in for each person. So if you think, you know, you could have 20 to 50 online clients, you might even have to spread those check-ins across three days. At the minute, I spread them across two, because as well as online clients, I've got personal training clients. So then after I've done the check-ins, later on in the day, I'll do a little bit of social media where I've got the spare hour do an Instagram video, um, I'll try and be consistent with that. So, you know, a little bit of social media, even just, you know, kind of do my own thing, try and zone out for like an hour or so, just to relax the brain, might go for a walk, something like that. So I'll try and get most of the work done by about one o'clock, okay? Um, and then if I am PT in the evening, half five, six, I've got a few hours to do something with the family, something that needs to be done in the house, go out for a bit, etc. cetera. Um, then, so obviously I'll do the check-ins and then for the last hour up until one or two o'clock, again, this depends how busy you are. Sometimes I might work until three or the odd day, I might work up until half an hour before the PT session. But for the last hour of work up until about two or 3 p.m. Um, or the last hour to two hours, okay? If I've got time, I'll start setting up new clients. So normally I'll do a consultation with someone so they'll book a consultation, okay, with me via a video calling software. Then 
we'll do a consultation either online on the laptop or I'll go and do it in the gym. And then once they sign up, they straight away get a guide to get started. So then I'll start working on their whole program. So normally what I tell people is it'll take me around one to three days, okay, to get your whole nutrition, training, your whole welcome pack, pre-recorded videos that are gonna support you around nutrition, training, etc., all together to give you the best possible support network, as well as your own specific training and nutrition plan based on your goal, your circumstances, your lifestyle right now, okay? To make sure you get the result that you pay me for, which everyone does, yeah? So then I will start working on that. Um, and, you know, I don't promise people the world straight away and say, okay, I'm gonna get your plan together in 24 hours because sometimes I might be putting that much effort into getting the best possible plan together that I don't wanna promise someone the world, but then I haven't took the time to give them the best possible program when it comes to training and nutrition. So I give them around two to three days, that way I know and they will know I've put their plan together to the best of my, uh, to the best of my ability, come speak. Uh, yeah, so that is what I would do if we've got time later in the evening that day. Um, normally depends what day someone signs up. Okay, so say for example, if someone signs up with me on a Tuesday, then I know I've got the whole of Wednesday when the sun's in there, so he's sometimes my partners in work to get their program set up. Okay, but obviously if they sign up on a Thursday, I say, okay, it's gonna take me about three days because I've got the weekend to do my own thing. Friday, I'm working in the evening. So you have to put plans and systems in place for that. Okay, so plan your week research software that's best for you, um, download a consultation calling app, a good one I recommend is Calendly. Um, so get payment systems in place so people pay you without saying, hey, have you got that money this week? Or you're not chasing them for money. So get all your systems in place. Um, obviously, Big thing here, if you are gonna go into online coaching, is you have to be skilled enough and confident enough to do it, okay? So if you're a new PT, very risky to go straight into online because you haven't developed the coaching skills. Online is very different to in-person. Online, you, the, the other person is paying you to update the training each week, you need to be on the ball when it comes to what you're looking for. Like if the goal is fat loss, nutrition, you need to know about a lot, a lot about stress, a lot about sleep, a lot about nutrition. You need to know when to adjust things like your calories or when to increase calories, when to decrease them. If someone isn't ready to do calories, so just portion sizes, that type of thing. So if you're very new, get educated, because fat loss and getting a good physique is very different to just average weight loss, okay? It's quite easy to just lose weight. Online coaching is very specific for more building a good physique, fat loss, strength, um, and, you know, probably better value because you're getting everything you possibly need rather than just a session in the gym. So I hope this video helps, whether you are someone who's looking for an online coach or you are looking to transition to be an online coach yourself. You want to know what the average day looks like. It's not drinking margaritas on the beach. Most of the time it's this. It is hard work, but it's worth it. Okay, if you have a look now, I'll show you some of the results that I've got with people. So if you are interested in online coaching, click on the link below 
and book in for a free consultation with me. Again, make sure don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.